Right, you've skipped quite a few days later, but anyway, long story short, there's a roof that's missing. You'll hear all about that soon, but we're in a real pinch at the moment. We're looking for a roof um, to go on one of these hen sheds. So if anyone has any information at all on where we could find one, we've tried all the sources we think. We've got hens coming in two weeks time, so it's a bit too short a time to get something made. So if anyone has any information or whereabouts on an old shed that's scrapped or whatever to get a bit of roof, it's been a disaster. You'll hear about that later, but but yeah, if anyone's got any sort of help for us, please get in touch. There's my email there. We're in a pinch right now. Job's goosed. Here's a couple of images from outside so you know what we're looking for. Chili Baltic, minus six. Can I see? Frosty, frosty. Baltic. See how this thing starts, minus six. Oh, on the button. This forklift starts on the button every time. It's actually better than the other forklift, which is 10 years older, younger, younger. There's been a leaky trough at yard three. It's a bit wet and horrible, so we'll just get it cleaned out. Hopefully I can fit that dung grate into the bucket here. Take them both along the road. Damn, it's too wide. On a day like today with minus six, I'm very glad I fixed that door. Dung is coming out of here because there's been a leaky water trough. So Kev will get his trailer reverse and just kind of jackknife it as best he can in there. It's a bit of a narrow gap. Oh, bang on the money. First load, not going too far, so not heaping it too far up or else I'll uh, jam the trailer again. Won't take long, there's not a whole lot in there. That's almost half of it done, so. I'm going to disappear. Taxi's here to pick me up. Kev will get that finished up. It was just a leaking water trough. It made the bed all wet and it was horrible. So get it out, freshen it up, fix the trough as well. Taxi to yard two. Feed Mike the bull and then we'll go and see these lambs. Hello, Mike. How are you, big fella? You could do with some bedding, actually. You big man, you want some grub? You hungry? Some lump you are, Mike. He was actually, I think, if I'm right in saying, a twin. One of a twin. This one wants to feed. Uh, that one there, Ian, if you had a couple of... Fill them with hot water and stick them on the top of it. Uh, just to get the lamb updates. I've just rigged up a wee jig to hold the lamp for them. So, unfortunately now there's only three. Very slim chance you're going to get quads to survive. But we've got two over here which are in reasonable condition. And this lamb isn't in the best of nick so there's a big jug of water below it which is filled with warm water so it's got heat below it's got a heat lamp above it's been filled with colostrum and that's the best chance we can give it fingers crossed the other two are doing fairly well all of them have had a good drink not out of choice it's been uh, injected into their stomach make sure they're full up that's the best thing for them gives them a good heat source from inside so this one's now got a, a hot water bottle below virtual sunshine and a belly full of warm liquid, so hope you survive, we pal. Some top quality joinery. If you want some in squint, I'm in my element. We're having an issue with the forklift. Don't think it's getting fuel right. Go, drive. When you give it beans, it just chug, chug, buff, buff. Done. Don't know what it is. Seems like it's not getting fuel or... Good fine now. We're just moving some troughs over to the other side, but I don't know whether it's only when the hydraulics are moving it does that, but, so we're just trying a few different experiments. Fine there. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go and get a fuel filter for that machine. Pit stop here at Scott Agri to pick up a fuel filter, so hopefully that'll solve the issue. Fingers crossed, easy fix. Every time I pass, I just see this and have dreams about it for the next week. Anyway, Scott Agri, been and got my filter. Do you think they take the front hitch off, so? Can't be nicked as easy. Quick stop at tool station. Need a ball cock valve for the trough where the dung we've been clearing this morning is. Need a couple bits up here. I need a ball. Some of these. Right, should have all the bits now to have a working trough. Next stop, yard three. Fix the trough. Actually, yard two. I need to pick up Kev. He's taking a forklift back. Twenty minutes later, new valve. What was happening, the old one, basically the ball cock was catching on the way up somewhere in here. 
and it wasn't fully shutting off, so the trough was just overflowing. There's the old one. Something in there was catching. So just replaced it all. Oh, there you go, that's it. That's the water back on. All right, these cattle can go back in now. They've got fresh bedding that's not a swimming pool. We've got a burst pipe along at yard four, so we're gonna nip along there and check what's wrong with that. I've not even tried to start looking at the forklift yet and changing the filter. Just need to check the cows before I go because I've not seen them for a couple of hours. How's the lammies doing? You're looking perkier now, you've improved. Good news. There's hope for the three of them anyway. That lamb's improved massively. A lot more perky now. We can do it. Oh, there you go. Hey, we've got a small leak. We valve there, that stopped it, but the frost's cracked the pipe there and blown the fitting off the bottom here. There's a wee valve there as well. Right, quick filter change. Is she gonna play ball? Yeah, I think it was just the very cold temperatures this morning. That's good, easy fix. Right, we've got these old pig drinkers. Um, don't use them anymore because we don't have pigs. Um, it's just a valve there that the pigs press their snout on. It fills up water and they drink as they go. I'm going to try one in the cows. I don't know if it's a bit optimistic and they'll just rip it off. You've got these anchor bolts. We've got bigger ones, but we'll try these ones to start. We'll put the trough in with these anchor bolts and then the guard will maybe put in with bigger anchor bolts. There you go, the fiber optic, guys. I don't know if he's about to go and just drive that down the road. Nothing to do with us. Just testing this before we take it to the field. And they've just fired along the road. No worries. Test fire number two. We've got a projectile in it. Not gone bang this. Oh, I didn't turn the gas on. It's made it pretty far. From here. To there. Start shooting at the neighbours. Make sure that's off so it doesn't go bang in the vehicle when Dad's driving. Break his eardrums. Right, Dad's going to put that on some oilseed rape, stop the pigeons. We've got the bowl on, we're using these anchor bolts, so once you get those in, you tighten up that bolt, sleeve around the outside, it expands as that tapered piece, you see that tapered bit on the end? It's drawn in the way and the outside piece expands. Much like the wee plastic plugs you get for walls, just metal version, heavier duty. So we've got the bowl on, it's pretty solid, seems pretty solid. So get a guard around it and see what happens. Might be a load of rubbish, might have to put a trough in here like we did last year. These just slot in the hole, chap them in a bit. Chap them in, and then tighten up the bolts and then hopefully that'll be solid. And the cows won't wipe it off. Come back to our swimming pool below us. After these are tightened up, that should be it, other than obviously we need to plumb it in, but hopefully solid. These are hollow bricks, but up to a certain level, they were filled with cement. So they're definitely up to here filled with cement because it was solid all the way through with the drill. Here's the fucking snow. Won't last long. Right, I'm getting a bale of bedding. Now the fortless works for the calves. Update on Wonky. Go on, Wonky. Improved a bit, straightened up a bit. Definitely not perfect. Never will be. Even his head is wonky. His eyes are all over the shop. You can look straight at him, look, see his eyes are wonky. He's wonky all over. I like him though. Hey, wonky beast. He's looking good, considering, all things considered. Kev's got a trailer of feed yoked up, get that along the road. Yard three, it's going. Lambs update, end of the day. Still got three. Are you, doing? Are you just having a snooze, pal? Definitely packed up on where they were first thing this morning, born into 
minus eight. It was minus eight point four last night. Our hen sheds record um, outside temperatures because they need to vary the heating inside the shed to keep the hens at a constant temperature. So minus 8.4 last night it was. These were born 7, 8 o'clock this morning when it was about minus 6. They've done well considering Baltic cold. We've got them under the heat here now though. Unfortunately one that didn't make it but with quads you're doing well to keep all four. Even though my uh, hatred for sheep runs deep, it doesn't mean I want them to die. Shut the door, keep them warm. Honestly, just tie the knot, like, come on. Like, clearly there's rope on here for a reason, just, if you untie it, tie it up again. Guess who just got hey. there today? Hey. 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 Bang on the money.